Thank you for giving us this opportunity to present our work on MERS COVID. And I also thank Professor Pierus for giving an introduction to his uh, related influenza uh, TBIS, which uh, the central question is uh, the same, uh, both the transmission and pathogenesis. So uh, our TBIS is on MERS COVID. When we started, uh, panel members asked the question whether this is relevant to, the, to Hong Kong uh, or to the world. And uh, now uh, we don't need to answer that question. And this is actually a, a team, uh, not only from Hong Kong U, but also from CUHK, Baptist U and CTU. And uh, the PC is Professor Patrick Wu, and Patrick is not available to give this presentation. So I'm uh, giving these uh, on his behalf. And we have three uh, team leaders, Susanna Lau, myself, and Professor K.Y. Yun. And the questions that we asked in the TBIS are, uh, what are the mechanisms by which MERS-CoV evo uh, evolved to infect camels and humans? And what mechanisms are uh, by which uh, MERS COVID might modulate our innate immunity to cause severe disease? And what mechanisms by which uh, MERS COVID induce a severe palmitary and extra palmitary damages? So, as you know, that uh, our team has been uh, studying uh, human coronaviruses ever since 2003 after the discovery of SARS-CoV-2 by Professor Pierres and Professor K.Y. Yun. And then uh, our team continued to work on these and we discover uh, the H back coronavirus HKU4 and 5, which are later turned out to be the parental viruses, the back parental viruses of MERS-CoV-2. So, uh, coronaviruses, uh, we are now having an ongoing pandemic, but uh, uh, the, 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 the previous uh, pandemic that might be caused by coronaviruses is this one, which is around 1890, more than a hundred years ago. And that is actually when uh, human coronavirus OC43 crosses species from cow to infect humans. So what might be happening in the case of SARS-CoV and in the case of MERS-CoV, still there are many nuances, many details that are still unknown. And the ancestral, ancestral origin of MERS-CoV is still to be determined. So one important question is, also, we have shown that these uh, back coronavirus HKU4 share as very close to the MERS COVID, but many of these HKU4 back coronaviruses use, do not use the human DPP4 receptor. Also, that uh, some of these uh, HKU4 back viruses, they share the closest identity of the, in the uh, receptor binding domain among all MERS related viruses. So for back viruses to infect camels and humans, they should be capable of using DPP4. So whether uh, there exists any back viruses that can do this, that's our first question. So uh, Professor Patrick Wu and Professor Susanna now, they are the hunters of uh, back viruses. And uh, this is actually a six year surveillance uh, program in Yunnan, in Guizhou, Guangxi and Guangdong in China and also Hainan. And finally, they discovered these uh, back coronavirus HKU4 from lesser bamboo bags. And uh, 
they isolate this virus using human CACO2 cells. And it was, it turns out that human CACO2 and H7 cells are most susceptible to these uh, bamboo bag coronavirus HKU4. So the question becomes whether these uh, bag virus can actually use uh, the deep camel DPP4 and also human DPP4 to establish infection. So indeed, uh, by various uh, game of function and laws of function uh, experiments, we overexpress uh, uh, the human DPP4 or we uh, lock down the DPP4 from the uh, HIL7 cells or lock out these uh, from the Q7 cells using CRISPR, or we uh, add these uh, 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 camel, dormitory camel DPP4 and human DPP4 to 293 T cells, which are not susceptible to uh, HKU4, uh, we can actually con consistently demonstrate that uh, these uh, lesser bamboo bag HKU4 can use both human and dromedary camel DPP4 as their receptor for cell entry. And then uh, we perform additional assays using co-immunoprecipitation, flow cytometry, and also this uh, beer code technology based on surface plasmon resonance to compare uh, the affinity of uh, of uh, the HKU4 receptor binding domain to human, dormitory camel, and also the back DPP4. And we found that actually uh, these HKU1 uh, RBD, the receptor binding domain, binds to human uh, with higher affinity, and then dormitory camel DPP4, and then the back DPP4. And finally, we uh, went on to uh, do the uh, in vivo assay using these human DPP4 transgenic mice. And we can show that uh, the bamboo, lesser bamboo bag HK4 virus can indeed infect these transgenic mice causing lung and brain pathologies as shown here uh, in these uh, ICC staining. So this work uh, is actually done by Professor Wu and Professor Lau's group. And uh, the take home message from this uh, unpublished study is that a MERS related coronavirus from lesser bamboo bags can use the DPP4. And in fact, both dormitory and human uh, cells and also the human DPP4 transgenic mice and the work uh, has just been uh, accepted by Nature Communications. So this is the first piece of uh, unpublished work that I'm going uh, that I will share with you. And then the second part uh, is about the innate immunity and how do SARS-CoV and MERS-CoV inhibit Taiwan in the front production, and among many different papers and uh, there is one that is uh, just published uh, probably uh, one or two months ago. And I'll uh, briefly explain these. So we have found that the MERS, uh, MERS COVID accessory protein ORFAB can suppress interferon production as shown in this luciferase assay and also as shown in these uh, IF3 phosphorylation, which is an a marker uh, for the interferon production. And by max spectrometry, we have shown that actually the OFAB can bind to heat shot proteins. And by functional assays, we have shown that the OFAB actually can inhibit the IKKY, which is actually the IRF3 kinase 
And OFAB does this by preventing the HSP70, a heat shock protein, which is uh, required for activation of an IKK epsilon from binding and activating the IKK epsilon. So if we overexpress the uh, HSP70, we can rescue uh, the suppressive effect of the ORFAB. And this is by using co-immunoprecipitation. We have shown that the AB actually can bind to HSP70. And then uh, these HSP70 can no longer activate the IKK epsilon uh, as shown here. And we went on to construct and recover a ORFAB deletion virus uh, using these uh, back technology. And we've shown that also the viral kinetics of the uh, Delta AB and the white type viruses are similar. Uh, the uh, OFAB deleted virus can induce much more interferon and interferon stimulated genes. So that is to say that the ORFAB virus uh, might be served as a live attenuated vaccine uh, candidate. So in this part, we have shown that OFAB uh, acts at the level of IRF3 phosphorylation, and it can interact with HSP70, and uh, it is required for optimal activation of IKK epsilon. And the delta, uh, the, the, the uh, OFAB deleted virus can induce interferon beta more potently, which is actually uh, might be a candidate uh, vaccine as the uh, live attenuated vaccine for MERS COVID. So uh, these are the two uh, unpublished or new freshly published uh, studies. And for the other studies, uh, we do also have the chance to publish a lot in uh, all in the top journals, and I cannot go through them uh, 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 very, very detail, detailly. So I will go, on, go through them uh, very briefly. So in this part, in this study uh, that we published in Journal of Infectious Disease uh, 2014, we have shown that the MERS COVID can infect human monocyte derived uh, microphages and dendritic cells, uh, which uh, SARS COVID uh, and SARS COVID 2 cannot, or can only uh, have abortive infection, non productive. And we've shown also uh, the MERS COVID can infect human lymphocytes. Uh, the CD3 positive lymphocytes. And uh, we went further to demonstrate that in these uh, microphages, MERS COVID can induce uh, information through the uh, ILR and CLR pathways. Uh, so that's why that MERS COVID. Uh, it's a potent uh, inducer of pro-inflammatory cytokines leading to the cytokine storm uh, because uh, actually MERS is actually uh, much more fatal than SARS and SARS-CoV-2. And we have also shown in this paper published in Science Advances uh, 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 20, uh, 20, uh, 17, 2017, we have shown that MERS COVID can undergo enteric, can, 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 can infect through the enteric route uh, using these uh, intestinal organoid uh, and also the D3-4 transgenic mice uh, through the intragastric route. So this is actually uh, similar uh, or maybe comparable to some other uh, coronaviruses, including SARS-CoV-2, that might actually, uh, there is a GI 
route for, trans, uh, for transmission. And we went on to demonstrate uh, that the MERS COVID can uh, not only infect and cause a pathology in the lung, but also in the kidney. And in the lung and in the kidney, there are two uh, key mediators, SMAT7 and FGF2. Uh, in this paper uh, that our co my colleague, uh, Dr. Yong, published in Nature Microbiology in 2016. And uh, siRNA against the, the SMAT7 might have a therapeutic value. And as shown here, uh, the, uh, these antisense origo, which has already been uh, tested uh, for inflammatory bile disease in clinical trials, and they actually have therapeutic effect on MERS uh, in macaque monkeys and in um, uh, animal model. And uh, in addition, we have shown that the SIEBP, a sterile regulatory element binding protein, which is actually a key, a master transcription factor controlling lipogenesis. And these, these pathway is, is a, a very critical for MERS COVID, uh, in addition to other viruses, probably also including SARS CoV 2. And there is actually a known inhibitor for this pathway, the AM580 which can be repurposed uh, for treatment with MERS and also for treatment with SARS-CoV-2. And uh, lastly, we have shown that this AP2M1, which is actually uh, important for intracellular transport and endocytosis, and this pathway is also uh, 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 hijacked by the virus for its own benefit. And in this paper, my colleague, uh, So Feng Yuan published in Science Advances uh, uh, a few months ago, uh, have shown that this is important. And this, again, there is a known inhibitor called ACA that could be repurposed uh, for treatment of uh, MERS and also for treatment of uh, SARS-CoV-2 infection and COVID-19. So there are many key messages in this part. Uh, we have shown that it can actually uh, 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 infect it through the gastrointestinal route uh, and also can, be, uh, uh, can undergo productive replication in microphages, dendritic cells, and activate uh, a pro-inflammatory cytokine production through the ILR-CLR pathways and also the SMAT7 and FGF2 are important uh, 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 mediators of apoptosis and pathogenesis. And also uh, the uh, anti-SMAT7, the uh, SB, SIBP inhibitor, and also the uh, transport inhibitor ACA, these might be repurposed for therapeutic intervention. So all of these actually prepare us uh, much, much better uh, for the fight against SARS-CoV-2 and uh, COVID-19. So this is, uh, we can, we see this as the next chapter uh, and our group uh, under the leadership of Professor K.Y. Yun actually uh, published this first paper in the world in, on SARS-CoV-2 and COVID-19. And this landmark paper actually documented, uh, provided the first uh, hard evidence for human-to-human -human transmission when the Chinese authority have not recognized anything uh, and have not recognized the severity of the problem. And this is actually in early January, the work is done quickly in our Shenzhen hospital uh, in early January and published at the end of January in Lancet, which is one of the first research articles documenting 
these uh, familial clustering and also uh, the high transmissibility within the family and also the asymptomatic virus shedding and also diarrhea in some patients. All of these are seminal uh, and the paper is uh, cited uh, already thousands of times. Uh, and these are the pioneers and the heroes who had a difference made because it is based on this hard evidence that the Chinese authority and the epidemiologists, uh, particularly Professor Zheng Guang, have uh, made the recommendation uh, for the lockdown of Wuhan city. And these are the real heroes. And uh, they do have a, a, a major decision uh, change. And these are our uh, next generation leaders in the group. Uh, thank you for your attention. So maybe I can first uh, ask Professor Jeans for his expert comments on the coronavirus infection. Uh, it seems to me that uh, MERS has been circulating in the Middle East uh, part for quite a long time, and there's no uh, tendency of uh, decreasing. It seems every year uh, it's just like a, you know, a pandemic flu uh, or flu seasons that has recurrent infections happening in the Middle East. Um, given the high mortality rates of the MERS, how comes that the MERS infection can sustain for such a long period of time? What, what, what do you think about so, this? Uh, one important factor in this regard is actually the dormitory camel, which is actually uh, suspected to be the intermediate host uh, initially. So, so the idea is that the bags trans uh, transmit the virus to the dormitory camels and, 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 and might also to humans. Or it, it is also possible that the bags directly transmit the virus to human and then human pass on the virus to the camels because uh, uh, in the Middle East, uh, humans and camels are friends and are so closely uh, are related. Uh, 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 it is actually uh, heavily used. So the camels probably initially an intermediate host has now become a reservoir host and there are viruses in the camels uh, consistently. So that's why that uh, 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 year, uh, year in, year out, it actually pass on the virus to humans uh, 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 through uh, camel to human transmission. However, because uh, the mortality rate is so high, it is uh, much more pathogenic uh, compared to MERS and compa uh, compared to SARS and compared to SARS-CoV-2. So uh, it actually cannot sustain its transmission in human. Either the patients are dead and then uh, the transmissibility uh, from human to human is also uh, much less uh, prominent than SARS-CoV or SARS-CoV-2. So that's the good sign so that it actually could not sustain uh, human to human transmission, but because there is a reservoir, which was actually initially a, an intermediate uh, rest, uh, uh, host, but now it's also just like the backs is the reservoir host. And uh, it is actually uh, continuously shedding and then uh, 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 through this human uh, camel to human uh, 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 contact, it actually, uh, uh, each year, it can cause uh, some uh, small spice and uh, 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 clusters uh, in the uh, Middle East. Thank you. So I think the the message is probably need to deal with the vessel far. So uh, if we can clear virus from the vessel far, then it may be able to help the human 
uh, protection against infection. Yes, yes. So the idea is develop to develop a MERS COVID uh, vaccine for use with the dromedary camels. Okay, so, so that uh, it might uh, either eradicate or severely reduce the virus shedding from the dromedary camels. Uh, that might actually uh, 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 eliminate uh, this root cause. Okay, so uh, here is a question from the audience. Um, there is a question asking any lessons can be learned from MERS for fighting against SARS-2. So this is a very uh, uh, interesting, important question. And uh, when Professor Yun and Professor uh, Patrick Wu, Professor Susan Lau, when they discover HKU4 in bags, they have already predicted that uh, one day these might be found in humans. And the finding, the discovery of MERS COVID actually confirmed that uh, there are human uh, 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 MERS coronaviruses that are derived from uh, originally from the bags uh, that cause uh, this um, this problem of uh, MERS. So. Uh, in the case of SARS-CoV-2, uh, we do need to pay attention to the reservoir holes. Uh, even, and this could be through, uh, it could be a real intermediate host, and it could also through reverse zoonosis. That means that human transmit the virus back to some of the animals, for example, cats, for example, mings, for example, pharynx. And then these, uh, uh, the SARS-CoV-2 might establish in these uh, animals. Uh, so that's why actually they are now killing all the mings uh, in Lesseland and in, uh, uh, in Europe. And so, so, so if uh, through uh, these reverse zoonosis that human pass on the virus to the animal and then they, they, they establish itself in the animal. So that could be similar to the case uh, as uh, MERS. And so that's actually the, uh, the, uh, 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 the, the importance of finding the animal reservoir and to eliminate that. And, and, and there are also many other lessons uh, that we should learn from uh, the fight against uh, SARS COVID and MERS COVID, and 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 and, and, and uh, uh, actually, uh, but uh, for MERS COVID and uh, there are difference between the transmissibility of uh, MERS COVID and SARS COVID two, and it is much much more challenging for MERS uh, uh, for SARS COVID two because of uh, the the the. Uh, much higher human to human transmissibility. And, uh, but still it's important uh, and probably uh, common to SARS-CoV, uh, SARS-CoV-2 or some, some of the uh, cases in MERS-CoV. And the, the actually uh, the transmission is, is biased. So it is not a normal distribution. So there are, super spatters. So for example, uh, if we remember uh, 2015 in, 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 North, uh, in, in South Korea, one person uh, actually in fact many uh, to cause the outbreak in, in, in South Korea. And this is also true uh, for, 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 for example, for our fourth wave in Hong Kong for the SARS-CoV-2, and the third wave in Hong Kong for the SARS-CoV-2 is probably due to super spreading events. And there are a small number of super spreaders who are actually uh, causing uh, responsible for the transmission. So it is really important that we can keep track of these super spreaders if we cannot identify them, at least we have we we need to detect a high viral activity in our community, and that's actually the most important thing. 
much more important than, for example, mass testing or, or whatever, or, or, or universal testing or all those uh, 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 ideas. It is very important that we have to get to know about uh, the festival. So, and I think um, I just want to add some uh, some more uh, to about this issue because I think uh, Pierre's uh, Professor Pierre's has has conducted studies showing the SARS two can infect both uh, dogs and cats, and also the. Uh, Professor Yun and other groups also use hamster as a infection models. So it seems the SARS-2 are able to infect a lot of different kinds of animals that making uh, the transmissions so uh, widely spread. So I think uh, Professor Jin has mentioned the very important things that uh, we have to be aware of how uh, the, uh, the infection source that can infect uh, humans. So uh, is there anything that we can prevent? Uh, for example, we know that animals can transmit the disease to humans. Any ways uh, or suggestions that for our human beings to you know, prevent this kind of future jumping of new virus into the humans? So. Actually, uh, after 2003, both Professor Yun and I have been very active in uh, advocating the uh, central government uh, not to, to cram down uh, these, uh, these uh, wild animal uh, 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 market and also uh, to change the, uh, uh, to, to cram down uh, the, uh, those who are, who are selling and eating uh, bags. Uh, but, uh, uh, unfortunately, uh, 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 after uh, the, uh, to the the SARS, uh, 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 people people um, probably have forgotten about the uh, lessons. So uh, this after this pandemic, at least uh, for the time being, uh, the uh, wild animal market has not resumed in southern China. Uh, that's uh, to the best of my knowledge that has not uh, resumed to to the P SARS or the P SARS two area, so that's a good sign. So probably people learn the lesson, and also the authority is uh, much more uh, uh, taking much much more serious mm -hmm. seriously. So uh, that uh, is a good sign. Mm 